Hey, Joe Niemeyer, I found your little knife. Jeff got some bling. It's a big one. A lot of diamonds in it. Get a little closer. Oh yeah. What'd that come up? Uh, 11. So I haven't been showing you this, but we found an old beach and it's just littered with like 50s, 60s, and 70s coins, but there's my first weedy. It's rough. All right, me and Gunner are doing a hunt. So the first few clips you saw, that was me and Jeff a couple days ago. We discovered this beach and man, there are coins everywhere. I didn't film hardly any of it. There's hardly any junk. Uh, I did find the one wheat penny. I got a bunch of nickels that were in the 40s and 50s. So I'm thinking, you know, it's moderately old stuff here, but that much swimming, there's gotta be a nice piece of jewelry in here somewhere, or silver ring or gold ring. I hope. All right, see what we can get. I don't know how much clad I'll film, but uh, hopefully I'll at least find some interesting stuff to show you guys. Okay, first signal. Got me an old cast master. Now look at that old time snagging hook. Holy cow. That's a relic. I think it's seen better days. You got a nice piece of lead. That'll go good in the recycle. Okay, so this is the second weedy I got out of this beach. That's real crusty. I'll never get a date off that, I don't think, but definitely see the wheat going off the edge there. All right, let's see what else we can get. That's a good sign. Means there might be a Roosevelt dime or a Merck dime here. Now, that's the kind of stuff I like to find. Like an old sardine can key or something. I'm not really sure. Actually, it kind of doesn't look like a sardine can key. But that's kind of old, so yeah, that's what we're looking for. All right, I think we got our first jewelry. I bet that's a silver ring. Yeah, there it is, 925, baby. I knew it. These swimming holes just never let you down. Awesome. All right, another wheat penny. Man, that one's rough, too. Look at that, so chewy. That's been there a while. All right, another big old hunk of lead. And keep in mind, I'm really not showing you the clad. But this was coming up like an 18. You always gotta try those because if you get a gold ring on 18, you're gonna be super happy. It's gonna be chunky, so. Oh man, I got something good here. I haven't seen it. Look at that. Big silver. Big freaking silver. What is it? No way. No freaking way. Oh. Oh. 1921 Morgan. No freaking way. Oh. You know what? That is my second one of those. Oh, man. You know, <laughs> I was thinking, that sound is too good to be true. Guess freaking what? Not this time. Holy cow. Man. All right. Well, big silver like that in Montana, baby. Boom. That's amazing. Oh. All right. Hey, I still got some daylight left. <laughs> Let's see what else we can get. Okay, well, since I just got that 21 Morgan, and I wanted to clarify, I have had other silver dollars. That's my second 1921. Look at this. Another big screamer. 
think I'd pass out if I got two in one day. Gunner, be good. Gotta keep my dog from going up on the highway. Okay, to be revealed. <laughs> nope, bad luck. Well, the dog is kind of miserable. It's raining pretty good. It's getting dark. It's almost dinner. Yeah, I think I'm going to call it. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, I'll be back. I think there's a little bit more to work here. Man, how cool is that? Big silver coming out of the ground. <clears throat> All right, look at that. I'm doing a wrap up. So, this was a two day hunt, and I don't have all Jeff's stuff. Well, I have none of Jeff's stuff, so keep that in mind. Um, anyways, we'll just start with the aluminum. That'll go in the recycle bucket. Same with the lead, quite a bit of lead. And I got a nice little pile of brass. Here's my junk targets. But like I was telling you, look at all that clad. Just tons of it. <clears throat> like I say, Jeff Jeff pulled out a, a nice hefty pile of clad himself. So I got this little pocket knife. That's kind of cool. It's got somebody's name on it. Three Wheaties, which are so chewy. That's so weird for around here because normally my wheat pennies just seem to always come out nice. But I'll never get a date or anything off those. I did get this silver ring, pretty cool, hammered, and I had that little fake earring thing, just a little piece of it, but there's the star, and I hope that the GoPro is doing this justice, but it is so crazy, the detail on this, it is like someone dropped it when it was brand new, it has a little ding on that edge, there, Let's see, where is it on the other? Oh, there's the other one. See that little ding there? And I did not do either of those. Those are old dings, but other than that, man, like you can even see the little hair lines and everything. It's so amazing. Anyways, I don't know what else to say about it. It's just so cool. All right, guys. Subscribe so you can get more of this. Thanks for watching.